Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Want to photograph uh, probably one of the first rocks I ever photographed in Australia, I think, and it's uh, it's called Bird Rock, which I think you can just about see. And this uh, wild and woolly weather that you can see here. So let's uh, let's get this right. Go through our normal check. Let's make sure that this is level first of all. Beautiful light on those rocks, as you can see. I've got the 32 to 64 on at the moment, and I'm just locking off the focus. I'm just going to take off a quick shot. It's saying 30 seconds. I actually don't believe that. I'm going to put that up to about 15, 20 seconds. Twenty seconds. Let's give that a test shot and just see how we go. Oh, what a beautiful morning, eh? Absolutely stunning morning. We know Rafi's nice and safe over there, which is first and foremost my pro my first priority is Rafi. Uh, and, then, and then once I know he's safe, I can relax and do some shooting, so... I see on here um, but focus peaking is on which always does help um, helps immensely in terms of making sure uh, that we're in focus it does help um, a great deal okay so while we're here and waiting for that light to bathe that uh, that rock. I'm just going to recompose and I'm, now we've got the uh, 32 to 64 on I'll be able to just punch in a little bit and possibly won't need as much of that, that sky and again I'll probably focus twice first on Bird rock itself, and then on this closer rock, uh, this rock shelf just in front of us here.
so uh, we've been over here uh, a couple of days in Victoria, so um, I think you've already seen a couple of my shots, um, a couple of my videos um, at uh, Magic Rock and Lake Taylor. And so uh, this is our, yeah. um, this is our uh, Rafi and I's uh, final morning here. We've just seen uh, uh, Jack off on her flight to the UK. So um, we thought we'd, uh, we've got a 10 hour drive back. Uh, so we thought we'd come out, take a few shots have a few hours sleep and then make that drive back. Um, nice simple composition. So I'm just going to flip this up into portrait orientation. And I'll be able to um, lower this down a touch and catch a touch of that rock shelf. And I may here actually do a panorama so that uh, if I'm going to do a panorama, I think I'm going to need a, a soft grad. So I'm just going to throw on uh, a grad. The reason for putting the soft grad on is because there's a, there's a, a large variation in the, uh, in the uh, darkness of that water and the uh, darkness of that water and the lightness of that sky it's uh, quite significant so we use a a grad and I think I'll probably need a fairly strong one probably a 1.2 I use soft grads mostly um, So I'll use this soft rad, which will, oops, once it goes in, you'll see it darken that portion of the sky, just like that. And just tame those highlights a tiny bit. Gotta watch that spray. And so, yeah, so um, first things first, I'm just going to flick the camera across and just maintain that green line. So that means it's horizontal throughout. Um, so I hope you can see that. And so, so I've got it set. It's a, at the moment it's on uh, aperture priority. Uh, so you set it at manual. I'd already set it at manual. I set it at 20 seconds. I'm just going to come down a touch to 15, maybe a touch more. We'll do 13 seconds f16. And I'll start by, um, I'll probably have to do two. Uh, one focusing on this near rock. And the second one focusing on bird rock itself. So I'm just setting the focus just down here. Oh, um, I think you can just about see that rock there. And let's take these shots. So there's a series of about four shots, maybe five. 13 seconds each, F16, uh, ISO 100. And that's one done. And then slowly turn around, overlap by, by about a third, half to a third. Take a second shot. Let's wait for that again. And the software is fantastic for um, stitching these panoramas. Another one again. Um, it does a great job of blending, so fingers crossed this one actually works. Um, I've got a, 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 a rock that's quite near, and, I, um, and I've got a bird rock, but there's not much, there's nothing in the background really to worry about any parallax parallax scrolling so there's, there's parallax error is where the background seems to shift um, as you pan left and right oh let me just check that one that was a big splash nope we're okay 
and another one here and I'll probably just do one more you should always do more than you think you need uh, for when you're cropping in and one more there we go and I'm going to do the same again this time I'm going to focus further out on bird rock and then if need be I'll do the two panoramas one with the foreground nice and focused and the second one with the uh, just make sure we get bird rock in focus and the second one with bird rock in focus and I'm hoping that that will do us so we'll come back to our position over here and here we go through this shot um, so I'll take that shot at uh, f16 um, 50 seconds ISO 100 focus on bird rock just like so and so now I'm gonna just pan slightly to the right about a third I've already pre-focused on on bird rock so I'm just going to take that second shot, 50 seconds. I do prefer low tide so you can get up close and personal uh, with bird rock and it's a fabulous shape um, I'll probably I'll put, put a couple of the images up I've taken um, um, earlier on a couple of years ago when I got closer to the rock that's nice that's all good lovely so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very quick trip out I'm gonna go back put my head down have a couple of hours and then it's, a, it's, an, uh, it's an almost 10 hour journey uh, back home, but hey, you, you do what you do. Um, I hope you had a good time. I have definitely always loved watching the sun come up and feeling the, the warm sun um, rising on your face. So wherever you are, um, please take care of you and your loved ones. And until next time, see ya.